Hey, I recently sold my business and I got the money just sitting in uh, the banks, which of course has no interest. And what kind of return can you expect in a conservative portfolio that doesn't have a lot of risk? Ooh, that's a good question. And you know, but prior to to the uh, show today, we were talking about bond funds, right? And just uh, what's happened to those. So when when most people think of a conservative investment, they think of fixed income or bond funds. Uh, they also think of CDs and you know treasury annuities bills. or mm-hmm. something like that, treasury securities. But uh, I, I know Vanguard, their midpoint for the estimate on what fixed income uh, bonds will do, what they call the aggregate bond index, is right around 1.2% over the next decade. Uh, and that's a range, I believe, of 0.8 to 1.6, so somewhere in the, that midpoint. Um, so the answer to your question is not a heck of a lot. If you invest money conservatively today, you're likely losing purchasing power to inflation. Now, there are conservative investments that do give you guarantees that will probably get you slightly above inflation, but you're tying up your money. You know, these would be things like fixed income, uh, fixed indexed annuities, fixed income annuities. Those might get you two and a half, three percent. But again, I assume you've sold the business and you may be looking at reinvesting that money. Is that right, Mark? Correct. Okay. I don't need money for income right now. Okay, so here, the most important thing that you need to do, Mark, is do some planning. Uh, what you're doing, and this is the mistake that virtually everybody makes, you get some money and then you're chasing returns, trying to get the good return and the safest way you can get it, and you really don't have direction. What a planning process is, is a detailed look as to where you are today with your income, whatever that might be, if it's zero, it's zero. But more importantly, what is your lifestyle? What, what do you spend every year on gasoline, groceries, dining out, running the boat, taking vacations, all the stuff that you do, that's your lifestyle. And there is no right or wrongs there. But what we have to look at is what's your lifestyle? What does that project out to be with taxes and inflation? And then what's that gap that we have to fill next to the guaranteed income that you be getting from Social Security? How big is that gap that has to be filled with your money? And then how conservatively can that pile of money that you have be invested to be sure that you have an income for the rest of your life? And that's what planning is about. That's what we do as certified financial planners. It's why we charge a fee, why we don't give this stuff away. There's some folks on the radio I know that give it away because, you know, I won't tell you why, but that's they give it away. Right. We charge a fee for what we do. It's a reasonable fee, but for the first time, many people in their lives really know where they are, what they need to do, like I say, so they don't look back five years and I said, gee, I wasted five years and I should have been doing X. We work with our clients as a fiduciary. We have no ax to grind. But we work for you, and if you'd like more information, I suggest you give Gary a call on Monday. Gary has a lot of business owners. Gary was a business, is a business owner right. uh, in his own practice and uh, understands exactly what you're going through. And these are the kind of clients we deal with day in and day out. Mark, we would encourage you to give us a call. You can reach us at 407-869-9800 or on the web at financialgroup.com. And congratulations on the sale of your business. I love yes. American entrepreneurs. Yes, absolutely. And, uh, you know, I would also... Go ahead, Mark. Can you give me some idea of what the fee would be? So it, to do a financial plan, it, it varies depending on the, the complexity of the plan. You know, I would say a simple plan could be 500 A complex plan could be up to $1,500. Um, and specifically with regard to investment planning, I'm glad you asked the question and uh, about, you know, what could you do on a conservative basis? Sometimes if you're going to be reinvesting this money, let's say into another business, uh, you know, even though there's no return, we look at the well, what the Vanguard Total Bond Market Index year to date, I think, is down close mm-hmm. to four percent. To give you an idea, so sometimes even conservative investments over short periods of time can lose money. And so, you know, the, the bank account isn't always the worst thing if you're going to be yeah, using the money. If you're, you're going to be using that money, right? 